Nice to see you again. Nice to be with you again. Okay, without taking much of the time, I want to just to chip something in. Look, I have to say this for, for a reason. I want to talk something about this Nigerian blogger, Linda Ikeji. Linda Ikeji, a Nigerian blogger. I know this lady through internet and I've been reading her. I've been before in Nigeria, I do read a lot of things about her that she always put on the net. So I read the news, the things she normally put. I don't know her in person. But when I also watched her YouTube, I watched her, her videos on YouTube sometimes, but I don't know her in person. I don't know her. But something happened during the time that I was uh, hearing people saying, oh, she was engaged. I don't know whether she was married, single or married. I don't know. But only I just, I read her blogs. I read her, uh, I watch her videos. Some of the videos that she do post, I do watch it. But I was hearing, oh, she was engaged, want, she wants to marry, she wants to marry, that was nice, and I, don't, I was just hearing. But that was time, after sometimes I don't even think about her, or even, even, I don't even know, I don't know why God, you know, showed me that dream. I saw this dream, I just want to make this video, this video short. I saw this, in, you know, in the spirit. Normally, I don't, know anything about her but all i know that as according to what god showed me this lady the way i see her she's just innocent she's just innocent she wants to like as god has blessed her financially she have acquired material things she also wants to have a home to make her home and be happy but the young man that stepped into your life I mean the father of your baby, your baby father, no? The young, the man claimed that he did not know you, according to what I saw. But the man knows you very, very well. The man knows you very, very well. And he came just to tarnish your image. He came just to like to, to paint you bad. Let me put it like that, to paint you bad. According to what I see, you are not a bad woman. I don't, I'm not making this because I want to make it, I want to pass something like that. You are not a bad woman. But the man came, like, came just to dent you, just to let people know that you are not the person you are claiming to be. And that's why I have to say it. People may say anything they want to say, but God, what God judges is the motive of anything we do. That's why a woman was caught in adultery. And people brought the woman in the Bible. They want to stone the woman. They say she committed adultery. And Jesus came. They asked him, say, oh, Jesus asked him, what did this one you know? What, what, she, what she do? What she did? You know, what, what, what sin have she committed? And they say that she, you know, they caught her in adultery. Jesus said, okay, if you know that you have not done such, first cast a stone to this one and just turn her back only for just to turn back again you know, turn, turn, turn him back seeing the woman alone he said where are your accusers the woman said they're all gone and Jesus said to man go woman go your sin have forgiven you sin no more you know when something happens it's not the way we say things it's the way God says things God the way God judges things is different from the way we judge things. We judge according to what we see or what we hear. But God judges the motive of what we do. This young man just came, let me tell you, he came to tarnish your image. He just came to bring you down, to tell the people that you are not the person you are portraying to them that you are. And you are more in ranking than the man. I'm talking to you, Linda Ikeji, I don't know you. But I have to say this because God revealed to me and God said that I should say this to be a blessing to somebody. Somebody else may hear this and it will be a blessing to the person. You are more, in the realm of the spirit, you are more than the man. You are more than the man. And the man step inside and claim that he portrayed you as a big boy. But sometimes it's also good for you people. Because 
You people always believe I am a millionaire and I want to marry also a millionaire. But you marry the millionaire or the, you know you did not find happiness because marriage is all about love. One poor boy out there may be the one God has redeemed for you. Being that God has blessed you, you are blessed though in material things. You have the material things. But you also need love to enjoy those things. If you go and bring somebody that is also a millionaire, you will want nothing to that person. Though not everybody. But this thing is too much in this our African mentality or Nigeria. It is too much. I want to marry to this family because they are rich, like my family. I want my, my father is rich and also want to marry a, a daughter from a rich man or marry a, a man from a rich family, you know, rich to rich. Then how can the poor cease being among us? How can the poor have a Britain, no Brits have a Britain space to receive life? You are rich and the government pick one young loving boy, one poor boy for you. And when you bring the boy inside, you will see that your that wealth, your riches, everything become everything become intact, everything becomes more lovely, more sweet. The young boy will step inside and bring what is lacking, the law, inside, and everything you will see yourself more happy in life. It's high time we stop saying, I'm a millionaire. I, 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 I must marry a millionaire. It is a wrong mentality. Love is all about marriage. So the young man just came to punish you. Let me put that in. He came to punish you. I hear what the young boy said that time. But I did not make a video. And I said, I don't know. But God showed me. Clearly, I saw it. I saw the man. I saw you. I saw everything. If in, I am saying nothing but the truth. And like here, I'm where I'm living, you know, in Germany here. The governor of the state, the former governor of the state where I live, the daughter went to a club and you know, and in the club, you know, she found one African guy from Gambia, I think Gambia, Gambia, one young African, African poor boy that is here, you know, not even having the stay or anything, but this young girl fell in love with this young boy. They started they, 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 they come in contact with each other in the club. They started, they exchanged number. They started communicating. A day came, this young girl, even this young boy, not even know that that lady, the lady, you know, is a daughter to the governor of the state. Until one day, the lady told the boy, my father is the governor. The boy wanted to fence. Said that you bring, you bring yourself so low, so down. So the lady said, I want to introduce you to my parents and I want us to marry. The daughter of this former governor of my state where I live married an African, an African poor guy. The daughter of a governor. Can you think about it? But in Africa, we keep on thinking backward. Rich, marrying rich people. And that's why the poor are busy suffering the more in that continent because of the mentality. I'm not blaming you anyway, Linda. I'm not blaming you, but I'm just saying the truth. I'm not blaming you. So now the young man came to drag you that he wants to bring you down. He wants to, his motive is to disgrace you, claiming that, claiming more big boy to you when he appeared. I don't really know you. You are a famous woman. Even me, I know you. I read your. I said even right there when I was there, I read some of the of your write ups, many things that I do with from the uh, next. I know that you always post. I read it. So he came that he did not know you, so that you will think, oh, this one is a really big boy. It's a big boy. He told you I'm not a multi millionaire. So position himself, family a big boy, and though he may be big boy. But I'm not uh, saying he's not a big boy, but I'm trying to tell you, you are more, even in ranking, you are more in everything in our spirit than him. So he ended up achieving his goal, he dumped you, and now say that this is the time he knows that he wants to live a quiet life. But he came just for you. 
But God did not condemn you. So don't condemn yourself. Move on in life. Move on. My advice to you is to move on. But I mean, you know, anything that happened to somebody in life is a lesson for you to learn and move on. And also pray for the true love of God to come into your heart. Let us not be loving our fellow people because they are rich like me or they are big girls like me or a big boy like me or their family is, 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 is a renowned, is a famous like my family. We are we all are once poor. We are we are all poor people. Material things did not horrify you a big boy or a big girl. Life is in the spirit. So if you don't have life in the inside, in the spirit, you don't have it. So you need also to pray for the love of God. Because that love of God will open your eyes to see your own husband. You see, you may, the person may be a poor boy, but you will, you will see the person and say, this is my husband. And bringing the person inside, you didn't go higher in life instead of going down. This is the secret of life. So I only want to, to let it not bring you, let it not you know, uh, demoralize you, let it not bring you down, you know, let nobody uh, 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 look down on you. Don't allow what people are saying or what they are doing to demoralize you. Go on. God is not holding it against you. He's not holding it against you. Make peace with God. Take God in any area that you have sinned against him that you are sorry. You know, and amend some things and move on. Simple. This is what I want to say to you. And it's high time for us to stop this issue of I'm a big boy. I must, I must move with a big boy. Let's look for a if you're a big girl, God may give you also a, a big boy that's so rich. I'm not against that. But God can also, the way God does something, God wants to use you to lift up somebody, to make up some, that somebody to smile because of you. Though it is not easy, but through God and prayer, you can find a true person that will love you, not loving your words, because a lot of things is down there, because of poverty. But in the midst of nothing, if we allow God to guide us, God will always prove himself mighty, giving us the best, giving us the best in every area. So this is what I want to bring to you. Let nobody intimidate you. Let nobody look down on you. Move forward. Move forward in life. And just what I want to say is make sure you make peace with God. In the midst of your prosperity, make peace with God. Be at peace with God. Let it not be the force driving you. Material things doesn't have spiritual value. So what matters most is the life in the inside. Okay? God bless you, Rinda. I don't know you, but I, I like you as a person. And I, I want to tell you this as God revealed to me, that this young man, you did not have anything negative, but the man had a negative the one that God is holding guilty is that man. He has a hidden agenda coming to you. He did not come to you with genuine, with the true law. He came with something hidden in the inside that he exercised it when the, the right time appeared. He showed you his way up. And God hates such a thing. God hates it. God hates it. It's, it's high wickedness, high deceit, deceitful men. They are out there, there are many. There are also in women. But may God help us to be truthful, to speak the truth from the inner man. I don't see the reason a man will go to a woman because you just want to make advantage of the woman because you want to, to see how she looks like on bed or how to, or maybe you want to take money from her. You must go to a woman or to a man. Because you love, because you love the person, not because of any other thing, not because of anything. God bless you. I don't want to say more than this. I don't want to go more than this. This is what I want to say. So God did not have anything against you. Your sins are forgiving you, Linda. Go on, move on. God bless you.